Hello everybody, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are, hello, hope you are all well. Um, we are a bit, bit, uh, bit cold here in Melbourne. <laughs> hello, Sane Games, Kirkleton, welcome, welcome to the stream. <laughs> hope you're all, hope you're both having a good day or night. Um... Yeah, it's cold, <laughs> so we're going to keep it cozy. I've got my heater on, uh, I've got my vest on. If I get cold around the head, I'll put my hoodie on. But um, yeah, just going to chill. Hello, Mark. How are you, Mark? Hope you're well. <laughs> Hope you're having a good night. Hope you're staying nice and warm. Um, We're going to be doing some drawing today. I thought I would uh, practice my drawing skills on the tablet. It's not something that I usually do. Um, and not that I draw in general that much. But uh, I acquired a, uh, a Wacom tablet probably about a month or two ago. So I thought, uh, let's, let's practice on stream as well. <laughs> my goodness. Um... Something that I want to put a question out to all of you. Um, what have you been creating? What are some of the things that you have been uh, doing that is being creative to you? Um, please let me know. I would love to know. Hello, Marina. Good afternoon. Is it early afternoon for you? <laughs> Day here in the Netherlands. Oh, look at that. We've got another, got another person from the Netherlands, Marina meets Sane Games. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, I would love to know what you've been doing to be creative. Please let me know. Uh, another thing that I will mention is that uh, we've still got a couple of days left on the uh, charity that I am helping support um, on behalf of Argo, um, who has set up a fundraiser for the National Alliance of Mental Illness, which it, which is an American organization. However, they do help out uh, other organizations around the world. Um, so if you are able to, uh, please, exclamation point, NAMI, N-A-M-I, uh, we'll get you the donation link so that you can either donate to the cause, which we, which would be much appreciated, or if you can share the link around so that, um, you know, on your socials with your friends and families, just so that we can raise that awareness uh, for, for mental health in general. So, yeah, that would be really great. For every $5 that you donate... You will go into the, to the drawer to win some awesome prizes, including a Nintendo Switch Lite, a full set of Animal Crossing Amiibo cards, including Sanrio cards. Um, <laughs> and we've also they've also got some subscriptions to uh, year-long subscriptions to Headspace.com. Uh, uh, plant uh, trees that will be planted and named after you. Uh, and I think they're going to be drawing quite a few, uh, quite a few names for that. Uh, and yeah, like a lot of other prizes, I'm sure as well. Full details are on the, uh, on the, on the page of where the donation, uh, where the donation link is. So 
please check it out if you can. Uh, we'd be really, really appreciated. Um, so yeah, making a spreadsheet, working out details of a game I was thinking of making. Ooh, Kirkleton, interesting. What kind of game are you trying? What kind of game are you thinking of making? <laughs> that would be awesome to see. Is it, f or can you not tell me because it could be for a potato meat stream, which in, uh, with that. Go check out Kirkleton. He's one of the potato mates. <laughs> um, he is an awesome streamer. Very intelligent young man as well. Um, and Marina, you've been adding pages to your bullet journal. Amazing. That sounds awesome. Uh, I can't wait to see pictures of that. That's going to be really cool. <laughs> Cactus! Welcome to the stream. It's another potate. How are you, Cactus? I hope you are doing well. <laughs> another potate, mate. Go check him out. Um, oh, it must be on a cooldown. <laughs> City building game, but I won't give anything away else away because I'll probably never make it, but it's nice to put, <laughs> put ideas down. That's fair enough, Kirkleton. It's all good. I kind of I kind of understand what you mean. It's like, it's a not sure whether I will end up finishing it, so not whether you know it's not I don't know whether there's any point in talking about it and that sort of stuff totally get it I'm kind of the same when it comes to making things I'm like do I tell people about this or do I just keep it to myself <laughs> oh my goodness how are you cactus I hope you're well I hope you're staying warm uh tell bits I said hi <laughs> Hey, and Jess, welcome to the stream, Jess. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good night, staying warm. <laughs> totally get it. Looks at my embroidery box. <laughs> Mar Marina, I still have to make this. <laughs> and this is my other little cross-stitch thing that I want to do. But uh, I haven't had time, or I just haven't been in the mood to do it, so it's just been sitting there. <laughs> I'm well in bed with electric blanket on. Nice, nice. Very, very cozy. <laughs> Gotta run. I'm going to pick up churros. Have a great stream. Oh my goodness, Kirkleton. Enjoy your churros. That sounds very tasty. Uh, have a good night. Thank you for popping in. <laughs> yes, please. Waiting for your daughter to stream. <laughs> I don't know when I'll make that. Who knows? We'll see. It's, it's, I think this is one of the reasons why I like doing these art and craft streams on Monday night. It gives me a chance to create things and to, you know, finish off projects that I have started or start projects that I've been meaning to start. So this is pretty cool in that sense. Um, uh, so Cactus and Jess, I w just mentioned at the beginning of the stream that I really would love to know, uh, what you have been doing to be creative. What have you been doing? Um, have you been making music, doing any kind of, you know, arts and crafts? Please tell me how you have been going with it. Uh, I would love to know. Um, it's not too cold inside, but it's a tad brisk out. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just a little. <laughs> I totally get it, Jess. Totally get it. Um, <laughs> yeah, whatever your heart desires. Exactly, Marina. Exactly. Um, another thing I will mention, if I was to say, if I was to answer the question of what I've been doing to stay creative, I did a little crochet last night um, in between recording a podcast, which you can uh, go check out uh, on the Fred the Alien Productions <laughs> page on uh, SoundCloud, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. <laughs> you can go check them out. Uh, I've been doing a little crochet. I wanted to make something really like small um, or something really quick, I suppose. I wanted a quick project. And so I ended up doing, I ended up trying to make a tiny little teddy bear, which didn't really work out as well because now it kind of looks like a rabbit with teddy bear ears. 
And that's 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 what he looks like. <laughs> He's like really really small. I'm not sure that I like the. I don't know if I don't know if he's really a teddy bear to be honest. But I tried. That's my first attempt at making the teeny tiny bear. <laughs> I've not been too great lately, but trying to play guitar at least once a day. That's awesome, Cactus. I really love that. <laughs> I use my creativity in baking. Oh my gosh, I love baked goods. Send some this way, Jess. <laughs> I do have my cross stitch that I've been avoiding. Oh, Jess, you mean the thing that you got as a gift? You need to start that. <laughs> my God, that little Ted is so precious. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Did you give him a little name? I'm not sure what to name him, to be honest. <laughs> wow. Wow. Agreed. He needs a name. <laughs> Cute. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, please send some Jess. <laughs> um, I don't know what kind of, uh, oh my goodness. You guys have just been sitting there and I've just realized I keep doing this to myself. I don't know why. Um, here we go. You guys have just been listening to me and there's no background music. And <laughs> I hope that's not too loud. Franklin. Call him Franklin. Little Franklin. <laughs> but, is it, but to me, when I think Franklin, I think of the turtle in the cartoon that I used to watch as a kid. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that one. Does anyone remember Franklin? It was a really, it was a really cool, uh, really cool show. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that show. Oh my gosh. See, I'm not the only one. <laughs> but um, are we call are we calling him Franklin? <laughs> I don't know. Does he look like a Franklin? Franklin the albino bear. We'll say. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he can be, um, I, th I feel like, how about Boris? Nah, Boris is too, I don't know. It's not cute. <laughs> Boris is not a cute name. <laughs> now he does. <laughs> hmm. Franklin? Franklin. Okay. We'll go with Franklin. <laughs> He's too cute for Boris. Yeah, exactly. He's too cute for Boris. Um, <laughs> we will, we will, uh, we will give little Franklin to um, Dr. Bear. Dr. Bear can look after him. Um, speaking of Dr. Bear, I have decided that, uh, we're going to be creating a new emote because that's what I want to try and do. <laughs> something different, something new. So I'm going to switch over. <laughs> Marina, why you cry? What's wrong? <laughs> what is the matter? <laughs> Um, so as you can see, it, it is a very large space. So it, it, like, it takes up most of the, uh, most of the screen. Now I have my tablet here. Um, and it's a very small tablet. It's one of those tablets where I have to look down to draw and do things. So <laughs> hopefully, I'm not sure whether you guys are going to be able to see me actually do the drawing. Hopefully you will. Um, <laughs> I'm crying because Dr. Baron Franklin is too cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Dr. Baron Franklin. <laughs> All right. So, um, we are going to, as I was saying, we are going to create a new emote 
And the emote is going to be of Dr. Bear. Now, I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to draw this. Um, <laughs> whether I'm going to be able to do my, um, I don't know, my interpretation of a bear. So what's going to happen is we're going to do just a quick sort of a round sketch of it first. Uh, and then we'll start working on the layers. <laughs> so um, what I might do, which I'm probably going to have to switch over to mousey mouse here. Um, we're going to rename that to, uh, what's it called? We'll call it the sketch, the sketch layer. Can you guys see anything? Like, is it? There we go. All right, cool. There it is. <laughs> All right, just making sure that it's uh, that it's working. Okie dokes. So, uh, I need to relearn all because I haven't been playing. I haven't really been uh, using this software. It's been a while since I last seen. I can see. Oh, good, good, good. You can see. You can see the things that are going on. Um, so let let me just uh, do that. And yep, sweet. All right, good. Let's just undo that. All right, just making sure that it's there. Um, all right. Um, all right. So sketch teddy bear. Uh, all right. So if I just do like, um, like just a round sort of a, eh, nope, it's going to get some getting used to. Hold on a second. I think I might have to do this. Um, so if we go, nope, Ugh. I'm not good at this as you can tell. So if we just want to do the face. Actually, why am I even doing that? Why don't I just use... Um, that is the... Is that the shape? I'm not sure. I think that's a shape. Is that the shape tool? <laughs> I hope so. Um, that's the gradient tool. Oh my gosh. How do I draw shapes? <laughs> No, that's balloon text. Blend. Where's the shape tool? Oh my goodness. Uh, you're gonna have to bear with me, people. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm not that great. <laughs> um, brush. Is this not like... Hmm. Hold on. What do these do? Snap to grid. Snap to rulers. Okay. Uh. I feel like I'm missing a tool. Hmm. There's a marquee tool, but I'm not sure if it's going to do what I want it to do. Do you have to right click on any of the tools? Is that what I need to do? Tool settings? No? Cancel. Uh, let's have a quick look through. We don't want any effects. We got the eraser, blender, fill. Gradient. Oh, here we go. All right, cool, cool, cool. I got it. So, what's the shortcut to that? You. All right, that's what I wanted. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, if we go the ellipse tool, um, brush size. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. All right, so if I go from, say, here, there we go. So if we're doing, I don't want to do it completely round for a bear. So let's go, um, actually, but I want it to sort of do like a, I don't know. 
<laughs> yes, found it. <laughs> um, I need to relearn all these. There we go. All right, K. Okay. Move. Just move this up here so that I, because I want to do what I really want to do. I don't know. Do I, do I chuck in some ears and then put on a mask and then, or do I put on his little cap as well? Because I kind of want to do him sort of his half of his body around here and be like, you know, the hug sort of thing. I'm not very good at drawing bodies, so this is going to be a big test for me. Um, Alright, so we're going to, let me just, I'm going to chuck in, actually, let me rename that to um, head. Uh, and then we'll chuck in a new layer, uh, new layer, and we rename this ear. Um, left and we'll shove in whoops no 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 exit there we go and then we're gonna do sort of like one ear here like that um and then we just move that there you can put his ears or basic features, then you'll know where to gauge where the mask or hat goes, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So I thought maybe if I maybe if I just do the thing. Um, I feel like the uh, the ear itself is a bit small. Uh, so let's go back here. I, but I don't want to make the ears too big. Is that a good size for ears? I feel like it might be. That might be a good size. There. Alright. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll duplicate the layer. Call it ear right. Oops. Um, ear right and then <clears throat> and then do this. Now, I'm pretty sure if I can, um, how do I, can I, if I control T, hey, that's what I wanted. Um, is that about the same sort of angle as the other one? I think so. We'll go with that and then we'll move. his ear over here roughly all right <clears throat> let's uh, get the schnout as well now um, new layer oh no 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 undo undo nope undo <laughs> I'm trying to... it's like I need the layers <laughs> snout there we go Okie dokie. Alright, so let's do the schnout. Um, maybe sort of ellipsed as well. Kind of like the... Like that. And sort of bring it down here. Uh, and then we now need to chuck in the eyes. Um, I left. <clears throat> and then, oh, whoops. Uh, it would help if I use the tool for the eyes. All right, we're gonna go. Can uh, actually, I want to go like this, and then there we go. Make a perfect round circle. 
There we go. And then... Ah! What's going on? Uh-oh. What did I do? Oh. No! Something was going on, and I'm not sure what. Hold on. Alright, let's try this again. About there. Um, and then duplicate that one and call it uh, right. So I write. And then we move it across. I'm going to keep it on the same level. Maybe about there. There we go. About there. I'm making cake pops tomorrow for a friend's birthday. I'm pretty pumped for it. I love making cake pops. Oh my goodness. Teach me your ways. <laughs> Teach me your ways, Jess. I've always wanted to make uh, cake pops. They look they look like a lot of fun to do. <laughs> Looks good. Thank you, Marina. I'm getting a rough idea of what teddy bear should look like. <laughs> that sounds amazing. What flavors? Yeah, what flavor are you making for the cake pops? That sounds awesome. Okay. So maybe here we'll add... Nose. I know these are just like a bunch of just round circles. Uh, whoops. Uh, where am I? You. But I will eventually... Yeah, nope. Keep it. Uh, I need that one. There's the nosy. Nope. About there. Okay, doke. Two flavors. I'm making red velvet K pops and also vanilla ones. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just find a, a plane and I book my flight straight to your place, Jess. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> I bought gold leaf to decorate with two. Jess, you're killing me. You're killing me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Packs my bag. <laughs> right, Marina? It's like, let's go. <laughs> They're gonna be good. Oh, Jess. <laughs> Making me so jealous. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've got the sort of the rough idea of what the head's gonna look like. Now I gotta try and get the body. <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a folder because I feel like I'm gonna lose things. So if I go bare head and then just grab everything else underneath it and chuck it into the folder itself. There we go. That way, I don't have too many things to go through. Alright, so above that, we're going to go and create the body, the shape of the body, rough, a rough sort of idea, if we can. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to keep going with the whole round circle thing, but then hopefully we will then be able to work with what we've got. Um, I feel like the body itself, oh wait, no, hold on, no, that's not what I want. Shouldn't be too big. Um, and then we'll move that across 
So sort of the middle-ish. Actually, it doesn't really matter if it's chopped off at the bottom. Because the idea is to make him look like a teddy bear. And then we can sort of like draw around it. This is just a basic skeleton, I suppose. Um, okay, and then we'll go with... Um, hold on. I will probably merge them later, but for now. Main body. Let's create ourselves another layer. Call this the inner belt, inner body, so I know what it is. <laughs> Trying to give myself things where I'm like, I know how to distinguish what's what. So I like this little bit here in the middle of the bear itself. No! Actually, it doesn't really matter if I have that hat, because it's going to be covered in clothing. So probably we'll just keep it as just that. So let's maybe not worry about that layer there. And then we can do... we are got to do the sort of the arms hugging, I think. I'm not sure how to do that. I'm not very good at drawing arms. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is going to be fun. Um, Alright, so we'll go... Left arm. I feel like I'm just going to start with what I've been... Just continue using the ellipse tool. Just till I get an idea. You got this! Thank you, Marina! <laughs> I love your vote of confidence. I really do. Uh, Alright, so then... So if we do, like... that kind of so like arm up here um, and if we transform it so that it kind of is about there about, yeah, about there-ish and then if we uh, just need to duplicate this one over here and call it the right arm. Oops. Right arm. Uh, and then we're going to just move this across. I'm going to transform so that it's... Probably around there. Move it around. How's that for a... For a skeleton? Does that look alright? Kind of like doing this. Like with his, with his arms. Kind of like... Kind of like with his hands kind of overlapping. Should that be a bit bigger? Should, do you think the arms should be a little bit more... I think that's a great base. All right, awesome. Thank you. Marina, I'm gonna need your help for the rest of it. <laughs> so I hope I hope you're okay with this. <laughs> uh, okie doke. So we've got that. I think if it's for an emo and you want it to see that it's hugging, I would say make the arms bigger. Yeah, I, th I think I think you're right. I might have to resize them a little bit more. Depends on which part is important. Yeah. Well, the, the whole point of my redemption, because uh, my channel point redemption is Dr. Bear Hug. So, I want to at least have the emote to kind of go with it, because a lot of people have been redeeming it. So, um, it's, you know, it's a hug from the bear, or you hug the bear. Well, I've hugged the bear, but yeah. You, you, get, you get the point. <laughs> yeah, that... And then I'd exaggerate the hugging. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> all right, so let's make the arms a bit bigger then. Pop that one there, okay. 
And then with that one, kind of like, kind of like that, like that, yeah. Uh, if I go with the left one. Or maybe I should bring, should, should I bring the arms down a little bit more? I don't know. Sort of pointed down. I'm not sure. I don't mind that, to be honest. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, kind of like pointed down a little bit, eh? Alright, so... You can always change when you draw. That's true. Yeah, I can. Because this is just literally just showing me what I can do. What I, what? So it's kind of like, yeah, kind of like a skeleton for me to work around. So if I do that one there. Oh, yeah. All right. Yes. 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 And then... Actually, does that look all right with one kind of a little bit pointing a little bit lower than the other? So that they're not both identical. I feel like I want to make the overall thing bigger. More interesting. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. That looks that looks better. I want to make the overall thing bigger. If I select everything and transform, will that work? Uh I hope so. No, nah, no, nah. it's just so it's just that particular layer. No. Can I deselect, please? Okay. Um. Ah, oh, you know what I need to do? I need to actually select the layers, and then transform. There we go. That's better. Um. Oh wait, I'm still. I'm just moving it. Um. Hold on, I'm just going to move it across here. And then do this. And then just move it across here. Maybe move, bring it down so that the ears... I feel like I need to move the ears. That's better. Nice and nice and big, so you can actually see it. Um, I feel like I've put the left ear. Hold on, I need to change the. Left ear. There we go. Uh, the left ear. Can we make it? Uh, about there? Yeah. Roughly. Alright, I just wanted to do that. I'm going to press save. <laughs> just in case. Alright. Hmm. So we've got the eyes, the nose, the snout. We've got the head. We've got the arms. Okay, I think this is a good... Skeleton. Okie dokie. So let's go with this. I'm gonna call this body. And then we're gonna grab all them, put it in there. There we go. Alright, sweet. Now, that is the sketch. That's the skeleton. Um, let me make. Skeleton. Oops. And then, can I put the folder in a folder? I can. Yay. Alright. Hey. Alright, sweet. Now, uh, the next thing I need to do is drop the opacity and start drawing the main components. So, I think I'm going to go with 30% opacity. 
and then we will start with a new layer not inside the skeleton so this is now going to be the actual drawing of it let's see how i go <laughs> Uh, all right, so if I go pen, pen tool, do I want pen or do I want pencil? Let's go back to, let's go pen. Um, now how did I, the brush size, there was a weight, there was a shortcut on getting the brush size down. Um, but anyway, let's go 20 20 seems a bit thick um, we'll go 10 I think 10 is good 10 is good for a size for an outline um, actually Marina is it better to do the fill in first and then the outline or is it good to do the outline first and then the fill in? I think you have to do the outline first. Set with it a snap to other lines on vector layer becoming. Hmm, yeah. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's go pencil. Cause then I can actually just sort of um, just sketch in the actual design of it. Okay, so if we go, All right. I do both. Oh, okay. Alright, I think what I need to do is I need to actually work on drawing the... Man, if I can't see, I'm not that good. I'm not great at freehand drawing, even when it comes to tracing, I'm not that good. So if I go... Like, say... No, I'm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I just leave him as a round? Doesn't have. Does it have to look like an actual teddy bear? <laughs> sometimes I outline first, but sometimes I color in the outline. Color in the outline. Okay. Can I leave him? Like this, with all the ellipses. I kind of feel like this might be. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not very good at drawing. <laughs> you can make it how you want him to be. <laughs> I, I, my free hand is terrible, absolutely terrible. So and and then you know, just in general. But then you combine this with me trying to draw on a tablet, not looking down but looking up. It's a lot harder. <laughs> Um, you know what? Let's just keep him the way he is. But that means if I'm going to do that, uh, I need to, how, how do I do this? I'm going to have to do the fill-ins from underneath. Oh, <laughs> uh, Crimson Dagger Fall. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Foolish Community. I hope you're having a lovely day or night, wherever you are. How are you? I hope you're well. Uh, I am learning how to digitally draw. <laughs> um, <laughs> pokes. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I might start with the head. We'll do a fill in. You have it in you, Fulia. There's no pom-pom emotes for cheerleading, so let's pretend it's in one's face. <laughs> My gosh, but the eyes, it looks so judgy. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh. Um, all right. So if I, if I'm going to fill, if I'm going to fill this in. I suppose I could just do it from these. <laughs> Looks at Marina judgingly. <laughs> they are uh, cookies stuck to it. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so the, I think the best thing for me to do maybe is just to fill in what I have. So if I go back up and do this and just bring up the opacity back to 100%. And just fill these in. How are you, Crimson? Hope you're well. Uh, all right. I think we're going to do a fill. There we go. Fill. Um, we're going to do a hard fill. And then hopefully I'll be able to soften it out later. So I just want basic colors. So Dr. Bear is actually white. But I don't want it to be completely white. So what I might do is I might do it as a... How's that? Might be a bit too... Is that a bit too dark? We can kind of... Whoops. Undo. <laughs> oh. Interesting. How is that... Oh, I see. Because the bottom bit's not... I thought that would... Hmm. Interesting that it's not letting me... Oh, I... Okay. I just realized what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Knock, knock. Are we going into a knock, knock joke? Alrighty, so... Alright, let's go... And that. There we go. Alright, I think we're doing alright here. Um, but I feel like I'm going to have to... Play around with the... Uh, the arrangements. Yes, I'm doing a knock, knock joke. Okay. Who's there? Uh, so if we do that, and then we do that. Two, two who? Pop that on the right. This one on that. Actually, it's to whom? To whom? <laughs> it doesn't really bother me. My grammar's atrocious anyway. <laughs> um, okay. And then, all right, we're just doing, all right, so if we do a full, do we want to, I want to do a dark brown for the eyes. So which one is that? That's the right, oops, <laughs> that's the right one. <laughs> and then that's the left one. Then we'll get the nose to be completely black, black nosy. I'm gonna do a. I think the snout can stay the same color. Um, but what we'll do is we'll probably shade it a little bit. And then. Alright, so we've got the ears, but I need to trans. I need to rearrange where things are sitting. So that needs to sit behind the head. Yeah, that's better. Behind the head. Yep. Okay, uh, I need to also maybe, hmm, random question, but do you have a favorite pen? I'm pen shopping. <laughs> pen? Uh, favorite pen? What do you mean by favorite pen as in for writing with? Just in general, just writing? Yeah, okay. Um... I don't particularly have a favorite pen. I just usually get, I usually just get a black pen generally, um, or a blue one. Uh, you know, one of the two for just in terms of color. In terms of the actual pen itself, I'm, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I haven't really, <laughs> didn't never really thought about it. Um, I like going. I really like going to typo. So I kind of like getting the really sort of quirky looking pens like this one here, my little panda, my little panda pen. He's kind of cute with a little top. Um, so he's, he's kind of like one of my favorites. Uh, I mean, 
in terms of pens, usually I generally go shopping for like, you know, a cheap pack of pens. <laughs> Over the last weeks, I've had this sudden inspiration to practice handwriting. Ah, interesting. Yeah, my handwriting is not that great. I probably should practice that myself. <laughs> I should probably do something about my hand, my own handwriting. Um, Okie doke. So if we're good with that. Okay. That's not too bad. Um, in terms of filling it in. I mean, I could. Maybe the one thing I should have done. Is maybe. Hmm. I'm lurking for a bit. I'm going to start getting ready for bed. No worries, Jess. Not a problem at all. Did you hear about when Sub-Zero declined Scorpions? Party invite talk about giving the cold shoulder. <laughs> very much the cold shoulder. A very, very cold shoulder. Uh, huh? What's going on? Oh, that's, that's because I'm not selecting the uh, the actual thing itself. Uh, all right, so how do we how do we go from here specifically? Um, oh, if we're gonna do a mask, there's no point in me having a snout then. Hey, hmm. Hold on. Let's do this. Mm. Let's draw the mask in. Do do do. Um, and then we go pen. Do I want to make it squarish? Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I know, his mask. I'm like, what's the point of having the snout if you don't have a like what's the point of having the the snout if you're gonna have a mask on? Um, alright, so if we go. I'm just going to do a, just a general... Oh, hold on. I've got to make sure I've got the right color, first of all. Um, and then... I think this needs to be a 5. Let's make it very thin. There we go. Um, and then we go... Uh, heat it down... Oh my gosh, no. Um, <laughs> that's terrible. Um, tool? Where's my... <laughs> I use my rectangular tool. Uh, <laughs> and then I will change the edges. Roundness of the corners, eh? Yes, yes, that's what I want. I want round corners, please. Um, all right, so if we go like about there, kind of. So kind of like, yeah, so it kind of, it definitely covers the nose. Um, which means we won't require you. And if I fill in, where's the bucket? And if I fill it in according to the color that is that of the scrubs that my little bear is wearing, and it's a bit dark. Hold on, maybe. that color kind of yeah there we go that's kind of like that um i want to get the shape first though is there a way that i can transform there we go all right cool so if i go distort or skew no no i need a skew I need to skew the. I need to skew it. So if I go. 
So I go like that there. I think I need to distort it. Hold on. Because, all right, no, hold on. Hold on. Let's go to the history. Uh, that one. Go back to the layer. I'm uh, not skew. Uh, I need to distort. Center of rotation. Um, all right, so if we go... There we go, that's what I was looking for. All right, so if I go... And... And then do the same thing here. And kind of like move it in from the bottom. Good morning, gamer! Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm just learning how to draw digitally. <laughs> okay. Um, we could do that, and then we can do... Uh, is there another thing that I can do? Is it free transform? I'm not sure if this is going to work, but let's have a look. It's not really doing much. Hmm. Hmm. Doing fine, only a small amount of pain, but took my pain meds, so they should be kicking in soon. Aw, oh, gamer, I hope you're okay. What happened? Are you just not feeling well? Alright, so... Okay. So if I fill it in now... Hmm. Okay. Kinda looks like a mask, kinda. And then if we get uh, the rectangular tool, uh, we need to do the outline. And we'll do, still some pain left from the surgeries I had, just needs time, I guess. Ah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Well, I hope you feel better soon. All right, so he's gonna have, we're gonna do straight lines, even though technically it's not really straight. Um, but I just want it to kind of work. Uh, in Actually, let's make it the same color as, oh, where's my eye picker? My eye, my eye drop. I need this color, please. And then we go back to that, and then we go um, the size of this line. I'm going to make it a five. Or should I make it um, make it a ten? Yeah, make it a ten. Um, or should I do? Actually, let's do this. Do that, and then fill. Create fill, line and fill. There we go. All right, so how do I change the color of the... F oh, okay, so the fill, I want it to be uh, this one. There we go. And then we go back to that. Yeah, there we go. 
and then hold on I might have to do it like that and then transfer oh, shoot no 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 I don't want to do that I don't want to transform the whole thing I just want to transform the <laughs> hold on mask uh, I'm gonna have to do separate now strap top left all right so because I don't want it to be too wide but I don't want it to be too long either so what I'll do is I'll do hold on so we're going here ah okay cool well that kind of helps I'm gonna have to ah no I'm gonna have to curve it and I want to curve it I don't know how to curve it <laughs> Oh, that's not going to work. Hold on. No. No, let's not do that. All right. You know what? Go back to the history. Um, do that. Um, all right. So I'm going to have to just maybe hand draw this one. As much as it pains me to do. Um, we're going to go with you. And then I'm going to have to do... Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Undo. <laughs> Let's draw in the straps properly, shall we? Alrighty. And then we do... Here. So we go... Like that. And then... Carefully. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just need to do that little bit. Sucks. Where's my eraser? <laughs> All right, go back to the pen. And then sort of close it off. around like that you want to make smoother lines I think you can increase stabilization if you want oh can I does that how does that work change how much to stabilize input from the pen ah hydrates thank you very much crimson for the hydrate I run out of water now um <laughs> all right so stabilization so if i bring it up to like 20 what does that do all right the more you increase stabilization it gets la laggier but it helps and you get and you get to use it ah, interesting all right so it's like a it's a lot smoother Can't tell what I'm doing here. I think. I hope that's. Um. I hope that's attached. I think that's attached. It's attached there. Attached there. All right. Cool. That kind of works, I suppose. And then. We go back, and then we go back to 100%. I need the hand. Kind of like that. Yeah, it's all good, no worries. 
you do that. But I probably won't be, uh... I probably won't be paying that much attention if you keep doing that, though. Alright, so if we pop that in the back there... Um... Hmm. The thickness of the pen goes, though. That's the problem. Hmm. So... But I suppose it doesn't really matter when it's part of the... Whatchamacallit. Um... Once it's smaller, small enough to be a emote. All right. So if we go, all right. So if I do the same thing I did here, no, that's, I need it to be a little bit higher. Aim higher. Around there we go. And then we go. Like that, and then if I fill it in, oh, okay, all right, interesting, and then I'm going to have to do it to the bottom bits as well, um, which means, oh, hold on, I need to switch back to black. And then we go Ah, I see their smoothness. And then oh. I think I need to do it no, I can't do it that way. I need to do it this way. Sorry, I concentrate very hard sometimes. <laughs> All right, so if I do, and then go back to this one. Ah, no! Hold on. Oh, it's not letting me. Oh no, there's a gap. Hold on. Well, since it's behind, Probably do that. Yeah. No. All right. I'm gonna need the eraser for this little bit here. But, but can we fix this little bit here as well? Did we fix this little bit? We did! Woohoo! Alright. Grab that. Get back in. It's kind of working. Also, just made some lunch. Nice! What's for lunch, Marina? <laughs> Don't disappoint me. <laughs> Alrighty. Um... And then this one here. Having grilled cheese sandwich, yummy. I had I had leftover pizza for dinner. So sounds good to me. Uh, I don't like that. Hold on. Alright, 
So if I go in a bit, and go back to the pen tool. Nope. Like so. And then if we get the bucket, I just want to make sure it fills. Hey, there we go. There we go. That's not too bad, right? <laughs> There's something very awesome about leftover pizza. <laughs> Well, see, when I uh, when I go to reheat it, I do a, I do a quick, I think like maybe 45 seconds to a minute in the microwave. Um, but then to crisp up the base of the pizza, I go to the sandwich press. And I make sure the sandwich press doesn't take doesn't touch the topping. So I have it just hovering over the top so that you can still get the heat from both ends. And then that way the base of the pizza actually crisps up a bit. So it's not just a soggy pizza once you've been heating, once you've heated it up. <laughs> that is what I do. Um, alrighty, so if we've got that going, so that kind of works. Um, I'm, I'm putting in the base colors for now, mainly because I, like, I will eventually add in the shading because i'm just doing a i'm just it's literally a basic emote that i want to be visible um now he needs to be wearing he needs to be wearing his own little clothing so his own little scrubs so i need to go from the head to his body so i'm just going to make the arms disappear for a moment yeah that's that system that's a system I use as well. Just do all the base colors and shadings later. Yeah. All right, cool. So now what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Dr. Bear his scrubs. So we're going to start off with... Um, whoops. Bless you. Uh, I need a new layer for this. Bless you, Crimson. Um, all right, do, 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 scrubs. Okie dokie. So we drew the scrubs in. Um, all right, so the basic look of it is pretty much just around kind of like here. So if we go like that, and then we go around his cute little body and then just there we go it's not the straightest of lines but I suppose when it's clothing it doesn't have to be <laughs> I messed up what I'm working on with a sneeze or no <laughs> Well, hopefully it's not too messed up. Hopefully it can be it can be salvaged. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna move the scrubs over a little bit and then just do it like around there, roughly. Yeah. I think that's cute. How's that, Marina? Does that look alright <laughs> for his little scrubbies? Um, so that's the main body of the scrubs. And then what I will do is I'll bring in the, the arms now. So let's chuck in the first arm. We'll do the left arm first. And then we'll chuck in that. And then rename this as the left, the left, uh, uh, scrub. Oh, hold on. We'll go scrubs left arm. I'm stuff for a GTA VRP server and I am chief of PD and I'm working on the deliveries for the cruiser and I erased half the cruiser. Okay, I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds important. <laughs> okay. 
I also think the color is spot on. Yeah, it's it's almost it's almost as pretty much very close to the color that he is wearing. Um, all right, so let's do the arm now. The arm scrubs. I, might, I don't want to zoom in too much though. So let's do that, and then we'll do get my pen tool out. I'm getting used to now that I now that I know what stabilization means. Thank you, Marina. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel better about freehand drawing. <laughs> Basically, you know, the paint job and decals on a police cruise. Oh, okay, okay, all right. I get you, I get you now. Um, that sounds like a really important job, but it sounds also like a... I mean, I suppose you don't really have much of a creative license, do you, though? Because you have to go by whatever the, the client wants, I guess. It helps, right? I have shaky hands and I switch on stabilization whenever I can. Yeah. Um, Alright, so. And the fact that, you know, even though the lines aren't perfectly straight, if they're a little bit wobbly, but being that this is supposed to be clothing, I don't think that matters too much. Um, okay. I'm the chief of the police on this server, so I, I can be as creative as I want. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's clothing, yeah. <laughs> Hope you don't have a hard time fixing it again, yeah. But I am also keeping it professional and realistic. Yeah, nah, that, that's fair, that's fair. Okay, so we're gonna go with... So we're gonna start from the shoulder. Let's start from the shoulder, because we need to attach it to the... Uh, well, not necessarily attach, but yeah. You know, you get, you get what I'm talking about. Alright, so the scrubs... We're gonna go... Like that? No, I don't like that. Hold on. We're gonna go. Nope. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Hold on. Let's go halfway down actually. That might look a little bit nicer. And then. And then. Alright. And then if we go erase tool, just erase that little bit down the bottom. Hold on. Na, 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 na. No, that did not work. Hold on. Uh, pen. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, and then we get the bucket tool. And then we fill it in. I don't know if that looks any better. <laughs> For an arm. <laughs> I'll fix it. I'll fix it. What is English? <laughs> a language. May I post a link to one that I finished yesterday? Um Yeah, I'll, may, yeah. Like if you're if you're okay to do that, if you're allowed to do that, that's totally fine. Uh, I just need to give you um, permission to do that. Um, how was it again? It was, I think it was permit. There we go. Oh, yes, you're able to. Okay, that's cool. Um, oh, cool. Okay. That's a very basic. Okay, that's cool. Um... Where are you from, Crimson? I'm trying to think, because that's definitely not Australia. Like I said, I am the chief of police on the server and these are my own designs. Yeah, that's fair. Mississippi! Hey! That actually, it actually looks pretty cool. All right, so if that's that arm, I need to fix up, I need to do something about the, hold on. Maybe if I pop in the other arm, it might actually look a bit nice. <laughs> um, what if I was just to duplicate that, hey? I could probably just duplicate that. There are different states that use the same style though. Yeah, no, that's fair. Alright, so I'm going to duplicate this and see what happens. Let's duplicate the layer. 
We're going to chuck it on top of the right arm and we're going to rename this. Um, scrubs right arm. And so what I'll do is I'll grab that, bring it across, transform it, turn it around. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Oh, I'm going to have to make it bigger. Hold on. Wah. Where is the end to that? There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, maybe not. Hold on. I might need to move it over a little bit. Like that. Yeah, that's a bit better. One thing that is same between states though is that the is the state police cruisers are black with a livery. Okay. So we are the San Andreas State Police. That is that is my that is the base. Oh, okay. In singing no scrubs in my head, I wonder why. <laughs> Alright. How's that looking? Is that alright? For a uh, for an emote? He's kinda cute. I, f I need to I need to do something about his paws though. His paws are just literally just <laughs> He needs paws. Work on another design. Nice. He's looking like Dr. Bear. Oh yes he is. I think what I really want to do though. Um, now that I, now that I've got stabilization switched on, uh, <laughs> I want to redraw the mask. <laughs> Let's go back to the mask. Um, I will, pro let me, you know what, I'm going to keep that there, but I'm going to. Ah, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, let's just do that first. Back for a couple of minutes. He looks super cute. Thank you. <laughs> um, just going to go mask two. Couple, I'm having people that are police for the server vote on the design. We are doing it tournament style. Ah, um, if you don't mind me asking, is this for... Is this for GTA? Cause I've heard of I, cause I know that with GTA you can do a lot of role playing, which is really interesting. I've seen I've seen people like oh, well streamers. I've seen I've seen a couple of streamers actually do an actual role play in GTA, and it's amazing because it actually sounds like full real life. It's really cool. <laughs> the link I posted was one of the first two winners out of the four designs. Yeah, right, cool. That's awesome. Yeah, okay, awesome. Yeah. Do you guys have a lot of fun playing GTA? I'm not a GTA fan, to be honest. Like, I don't play it myself. But I do, I do, I don't mind um, watching other people play GTA, especially when they do, when, when, you, when you guys do the whole role-playing thing. It just seems, makes it so real. <laughs> I stated earlier, this is for a, oh, sorry. I read it completely different. For some reason, my brain went to real, and I'm like, wait, no. that It took a while, I'm sorry. <laughs> brain bit slow. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Alright, so, let's redraw this. Uh, let's do this. Alright, let's draw, redraw the, the mask itself. Alright, so we're going to do a... Let's literally going to be oh whoops no I don't want that one let's select that one there all right so we're gonna go around here down here around and now I don't have to skew anything up here whoops 
That didn't work. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe if I have the other one up as a just a little mini reference. But like have this one at a lower opacity. And then I can draw. Oh, I didn't get what GTA <laughs> Yeah, GTA 5. So the GTA V V meaning the Roman numeral of five. That's that's the way that they use their numbers in uh, with their titles. <laughs> At first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, so if I go around here, and then ah. I start to squiggle when I'm going up. It's so annoying. This is where I start to squiggle. All right, I'm not Mr. Squiggle. I just want to, I just want to draw. Hold on, maybe if I get in a bit. Okay, so if I just move this over a bit, and then, uh, whoops, don't want to rotate. Let's just fix this bit up here. There we go, that's better. Sounds like a good character name. The Adventures of Dr. Bear Franklin and Mr. Squiggles. <laughs> um, Marina, have you heard of uh, Mr. Squiggle? Have you ever heard of Mr. Squiggle? Mr. Squiggle is a very renowned artist here in Australia. <laughs> Jess would know. <laughs> I have to Google him now. <laughs> Mr. Squiggle, the man from the moon. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I used to love watching Mr. Squiggle. So much fun. Oh my God. He has a pencil on his nose. Yeah. So he, so he, with his pencil, He'll draw, he'll draw stuff, and it'll be upside down. <laughs> I love him already. <laughs> so he'll, he'll get like little squiggles that are already on the paper, and then he'll fill it in and just draw, and then he'll be like, it's upside down, upside down, and then the person has, the person that's there, the human person, will flip it around. And it's the actual drawing, and it's actually really cool. <laughs> the blackboard, hurry up! <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> I need to draw him. <laughs> After I get the final library selected, I will then be working on a new library for supervisors only. Nice! Well, I'm glad that you are uh, doing something creative. This is what this stream is all about. It's all about being creative. And I love it. Alright, cool. And then... Whoops, wrong one. Um, I need to zoom in a bit more. I know this is going real pixelated, but... Right now... Just trying to make it join so it doesn't look too... Crappy. <laughs> There are two I'll be working on for the supervisors. Ah, interesting. Are they gonna, are you gonna keep the colors similar? One is a library that is rarely seen referred to as a ghost cruiser. Ah, oh, interesting. Shall I post pics of my cake pops on your Discord tomorrow? Ah, uh, Jess, that shouldn't even be a question. You do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just post them. 
dumb question. <laughs> Post in the Discord in the mail, Jess, to me. <laughs> what Marina said. <laughs> uh, oh, whoops. No, I don't want a black. I don't want a black mask. I want a green one. There we go. <laughs> Marina's like, give me, give me the cake pops. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, all right. So can we fit to screen? There we go. All right. How's that looking so far? That's not too bad. I mean, that's just the base. I really want, I really want to work on his arms though. Hold on, his hands, his paws. His paws are just poor. <laughs> the crew's are plain black or white. Ours will be black as I stated. We are the state police. The livery is a, is of a lighter, but we'll still close black. That makes it look like an unmarked cruiser. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So like undercover police type of style. Cool. We need close enough the library then reflects the light showing police. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I get where you're I get where you're coming from. That's uh that sounds really cool. Oh my god, they even made a two dollar coin with squiggles on it. Yeah, yeah! Mr. Squiggles here in Australia is a very renowned character. <laughs> He's an Australian icon. <laughs> That's why he deserves to be on a coin. <laughs> All right, so now that we've done that, I want to work on his, so which one is, so if I, that's the right arm, right? Oop, that's the right arm scrub. Um, so that's the left arm scrub. So I want to do the right arm. So let's just get rid of them for a second while I work on his paws. Be right back, no worries, Crimson. Okie doke. So if we go left arm, yeah, of course he's an icon, Jess. <laughs> no doubt about it. Um, okie dokie. So, poor. So if I go erase tool, can I erase everything? I can. All right. Good, 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 good. I just need to make him make the erase tool a bit bigger. Because I want to do... Kind of like... All right. All right, so if we go pen tool now. Black. Next time, Squiggles inspired cake pop. <laughs> Actually, hmm, I have ideas now. <laughs> Marina, you've given Jess ideas. How dare you? <laughs> All right, so hold on. I want to do... No, no, that looks weird. Um, we are not going to have a fill, and we're going to go round. Um, how should I do this? Maybe like that. Whoop. Okay. Um, oh boy, hold on. That's not gonna work. Hold on, I need to do um, left paw. Do you remember lift off? You really think I'm gonna forget lift off? That was one of my favorites as well. I love a lot of kids shows. I've got a lot of favorite kids shows. <laughs> Seed planted, my job is done. <laughs> Hardly anyone remembers it, and I feel like I'm going crazy. I remember Liftoff. Who doesn't remember Liftoff? With the with the doll that doesn't have a face, which everybody thinks is really creepy, but to me, it was actually a really cute doll. I was jealous of certain... I was, I was very jealous of certain kids that had that doll, because I was like, but I want one too. I've forgotten his name, though. The... F <laughs> 
No, you're not going crazy, Jess. You're good. I remember. I remember that show. I absolutely remember that show. All right, and then move that sort of in place about there. Okay, and then <laughs> Marina's just sitting here thinking, "What? Faceless doll? Lift off? No idea what you're talking about." <laughs> My parents wouldn't let me have a doll because it freaked them out. Wouldn't ha Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, I really wanted one, but I don't think my parents really understood the concept of why it was such a popular thing to have. So I never got one. <laughs> Plus, probably back then, it was probably very expensive. So, eh. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we are now going to... Uh, I'm going to fill this in. So I, I need the bucket. I'm gonna do this. Oh, wait, no. I need the eyedropper first of all. Get that color. And then get the bucket. Boom. And then... Um, I feel like I need to maybe erase that. But without eyes, they can't stare at you, so probably better. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it was a... It was this doll that didn't have any hair, had like a really cute nose, but there was no eyes, and there was barely a mouth. Like you could just see an outline of a like a little pursed mouth, but that's about it. So it was literally a faceless doll. <laughs> the 90s are making a comeback. I'm just waiting for it to get popular again. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Um, alright, so if I go, maybe I can color it in without having to worry about, so if I go brush, ooh, okay, um, can we go realistic, um, actually no, let's go back to the pen tool, I just gotta make it bigger, so what is this at the moment, it's a Five. So if I make this a 20, I might be able to use it to... Hey, there we go. Just want to do this. There we go. All right. Um... I need to do the, I need to do the lines on it, don't I? Maybe too close, hold on. And then if I go pen tool again, go back to five. And do black, just for the pore sort of like separation. And there's usually about three of them. So if we go one, actually that's too thin, like here. One and, whoop, nope, like that, whoops, I thought I had the hand tool. <laughs> How's that for a paw? As a kid, when I had to spend the night over at my grandparents, I used to be scared of the porcelain doll collection of my grandma. My mum, my mum has a porcelain doll collection. She's got it in a, in a nice cabinet, like a display cabinet. They're actually very pretty. I imagine I would also feel scared of those dolls too, gamer. I don't know what you guys are on about. They're not scary. <laughs> Talking about cartoons, by the way, did you have Blinky Bill? If I remember the name correctly, yes. Blinky Bill is an Australian cartoon. And it's very was very, very popular in the 90s. <laughs> my mom had a porcelain clown that freaked me out. My dad and I used to hide it around the house to scare people. <laughs> wow. See, I never had that growing up. 
All right, let's fix up this poor paw. Uh, I'm gonna hide the. Oh, whoop, whoop, nope, nope. We need the clothing. Uh, where's the scrub? Ah, oh, the scrub's up here. All right, cool. Nope. And we're gonna keep that. Where's the left scrub? Ah, there, we, there it is. <laughs> Loved Blinky Bill. Oh yeah. I remember we used to have a VHS tape of Blinky Bill. That's so cool. <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love it. Um, okay, so that's the left paw that I've just done. So we're doing the right arm now. So if I go here, uh, right paw. So with the right arm, though, we're going to erase... There we go. All right, cool. And then we're gonna get um, the no the shape tool. We need the shapey shapey into the paw. Nope, no, we don't want that. We want something. I kind of like that. Oh, hold on. Undo, hold on. Meh. No! Oh, you... And... And then move that out the way to about... Move it around here. Yep. Okay, now get the bucket. Fill it in. Um, and then get the pen. And then do 20. Just need to fill it in. M -m 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 pen. Go black. And then zoom out. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Poor. I suppose it's not such a bad thing. Um, I love Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. Oh, do I remember that one? I'm not sure about that one. I don't think I remember that one, Jess. <laughs> uh, where am I? I need the paw. There we go. I haven't drawn on that, have I? <gasps> oh my goodness, I've been drawing on that one the whole time? As if... Oh, well, it's not such a bad thing. I can get rid of that one then. Delete that one. Ugh. Uh, delete that layer. Yes. Bring this one down. And rename that to the right paw. So if I get rid of that. Yep, sweet. Okay. Crisis averted. All good. Not a lot of people do remember them. <laughs> I mean, the name rings a bell. I just, I myself don't remember it. 100%. Alright, so we're gonna go one and two. Alright, so if we go um, over here and then bring in the rest of the arm. Hey, hey! How's that looking? That's not too bad, right? <laughs> Um, all right, so now that we've got the main thing down, 
Let's try and make it a little bit more lifelike, almost. <laughs> I need to put some creases. I need to put some creases into the uh, into the mask. Looks awesome. <laughs> Why? Thank you. <laughs> Uh, let's start with, yeah, I want to put some, all right, so this one I can delete. I can delete that one. Yep, delete that one. Delete. Um, because that's on top. All right, we're good. Um, so I've got to try and chuck in some creases, which means the type of colors that I want to use, if I'm going to chuck in creases, needs to be a darker color of this green. So... Um, let's go with, uh, all right. So if I just pick the, what's the thing for that? What's a shortcut to you? I, all right, cool. We're good. All right. So we're going to pick this one and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like a darker color to kind of give that shadowy effect to the crease. And then we're going to probably up the size. I'm going to go 10. Let me have a look. So if this is where his snout is going to be. So I'm going to say like... No, hold on. Uh, I need to soften that. Maybe I use a brush instead. Hmm. Use a brush instead. Oh wow, that's uh, that's very big. Let's go down to like fifteen. So kind of like here. No. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's like I've given him a smile. Um. Um. Oh, that's another thing I gotta do. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna have to check in a new layer. Mask creases. All right. Uh, I might have to bump up the size of the brush to sort of get the effect no nah, I'm not I'm mm, okay hmm maybe watercolor Maybe if I just do like Does they do they look like creases to you? Hold on, what if I bring down the opacity on that? Like from a distance, you can't really tell, can you? If you're looking at the, like for the emote type stuff. I'm not very good at, uh, shadows. I'm not very good at stylizing stuff like that, so... Hmm. I think you'll have to make it darker if you want it to be seen as an emote. Yeah. But I'm just sort of thinking on how to execute it to make it look kind of realistic. So 
So I'm not quite sure how to do that exactly. Like, should it be like this? Like, I feel like it's a bit too rounded on the ends, eh? I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Hold on. Um... Maybe I do just stick with pencil. Colored pencil. Let's have a look. I think that might look a little... A little better. Oops. I think that looks a bit better. Hold on. Does that kind of look a bit better? Hold on. Might be a bit too long. Make the creases a little bit shorter. How's that? That definitely looks a lot better. But as an emote, you probably won't be able to see it. Hmm. Should I increase the size of the brush? If I go fifteen. Good morning to you. I hope you're well. Nope, wrong way. How is that going to look as an emote? Hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, is my bot down at like completely? Like it's not working at all? I haven't seen anything pop up, like none of the timers or anything. Holy moly. I feel like it's crashed. Oh, and by the way, Emily, it's 9.38 p.m. here. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> I might as well just tell you since the bot's not telling you. Hold on. Yeah, bot's down. Not sure what happened, I'm sorry. That is very strange. Very strange indeed. Whomever invented 7am call, work calls is definitely in the bad place. <laughs> yes, I agree, Emily. How dare they. How absolutely freaking day dare they? <laughs> okay, I feel like maybe what I'm missing is like the extra like little bit like maybe here. Oop. Maybe this is what I'm missing. Just to give it that extra little bit of Creasy def, creasy depth. Although it doesn't really make too much of a difference. 
when you zoom out. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it kind of looks okay. You're not going to see much of it, though. Alright, hold on. Alright, let's... Let's not focus too much on the... On the mask, then. Let's move on... Let's move on to the eyes, actually. The eyes need some depth. <laughs> so let's go with... Uh, let's chuck in some white reflection, hey? Let's chuck some reflection in. I don't know... That I've been awake enough to see this fancy crafty screen before. It's cute. <laughs> I am creating a new emote, Emily. This is Dr. Bear. <laughs> Does he have... <laughs> Does it have any resemblance? Is there any resemblance to Dr. Bear there? <laughs> I feel like he still needs his hat. Does he need his hat? I feel like he needs his hat. I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to shade in his ears. He needs a beanie. <laughs> um, can we spam it at Richard after the beans yesterday? <laughs> well, I was actually thinking of replacing one of my tier 1 emotes with this. Um, and I was thinking... Oh, sorry, not tier 1. Um, which... Oh, man, because I like my tier 1 emotes. Um, I mean, the only thing I, I could, I could replace the 11 hour one. <laughs> I was also thinking maybe replace the angel one, but that's a 25,000k e bit emote. And I'm not sure whether I say what. <laughs> I'm not sure which emote to replace because like, obviously I can't have more. Uh, unless I'm partnered or I, you know, unlock more bit emotes. So you, you, <laughs> you don't want me to get rid of the 11 hour one? <laughs> it's too iconic to leave, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, we're going to add some reflection to the eyes. Um, yeah. Because I'm not sure what's going on with this. I mean, I could keep it there, but I don't know. Oh, you know why it looks a bit weird? It doesn't have stitching. Oh, well. Let's not focus on that too much. Let's just get working on the eyes. Um, we need a little bit of reflection. So we're going to go maybe here. And then if we go to the right eye... And do the same thing. All right. How's that? Is that is that all right? You're not gonna see it. Hey, you're really not gonna see it. That sucks. Um. All right. Maybe not colored pencil then. How about? What's the for effect line? Um, I'm gonna bring it up to a 10. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, maybe like this. Ah! Oh! Oops, and it's on the wrong side anyway. All right, this is the right eye. And then we go to the left eye. Mm. 
Oops, undo. I need the hand. Okay, that, that gives it a little bit of depth. I mean, with the reflection. Alright, cool. Okie dokie. Um, I do want to do that one a bit better, though. Yeah, that's better. All right, cool. So we do that. Um, yeah, I think he needs a hat. I think I'm going to put on his scrubs hat. Definitely. Definitely a scrubs hat. Um, let me just create, um, create another folder under here. Actually, no, we don't need the folder. Let's not worry about the folder. Let's just create it. Hat. Um, hat outline. <laughs> Actually, no. Let's just call it hat. And then we go pen tool. G pen black um okay pen um and then we're gonna go like this oop no need to do a better job. <laughs> there we go. Um just need to decrease the size of the brush. Go back to the pen. Zoom in. Okay. Um, I feel like I need to skew it somehow. Distort so that it kind of fits his cute little head like around there, and then sort of like. Do that, and then do this. Sort of stretch it out. Okay. Then we get the bucket. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I need the eye drop tool first. Then we get the bucket. And then we fill. Oh, the outline's too thick. What's the pen at? Oh, no wonder. Bugger. Uh, start again. Start again. Um, black, we need it to be a five.
to do. Maybe give it a bit of a shadow over the snouty. So if we go... Where is it? The bear head. We're looking at the snout. So you. Okay. So what I want to do with you then, see if I want to get that. Um, I feel like I use the colored pencil and I'll pick... I'm going to head to bed. Have a great rest of your stream. Thank you so much for being here, Jess. I hope you have a good night. Sleep well, my friend. And have fun with those K-pops tomorrow. I want to see pictures. <laughs> uh, Alright, so if we go... That's right. I drop. And then go back to the pencil. And then... We choose a darker color of that. Um, maybe if I go 20. Hmm. Needs to be darker, I think. How's that? Does it need to be darker? I feel like it needs to be darker. Oops. Can't really tell, because it's like just the top of the mask itself. I might want to do that to the... just this little bit here um, of where the hat is, so... but if I do that, I might do it to the actual head itself. And I know that the hat will at least cover it up. Um, so if I go... Like so. Ooh, don't be afraid to go darker for emotes. Yeah? You think so? So it emphasizes it a bit more, yeah? I'm gonna be off, have to go eat some lunch and some more meds and then I'm gonna probably chill a bit laying down on the couch. No worries, gamer. I hope you feel a lot better. Um, take care of yourself. Alright. Let's go darker then. See all of you peeps later and have fun with the stream. Thank you very much. Maybe not go too far. Hope to see you tomorrow morning or your time tomorrow night. Uh, to, well, not tomorrow night, tonight. <laughs> ah, no. I just ruined it. Hold on. I'm trying to follow the line. I don't want to make it too thin. Hmm. All oh, right, the bot's down. <laughs> the bot's out. I'm really sorry. Hold on, gamer. I'll get you a link. I'll have to do this manually. Uh, one moment while I get a link to the server. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. where are we? <laughs> Invite. I'm not sure if it's going to work as good, but 
There it is. There is the Discord link. For those of you who would like to join the Foolish community. Okay. Whoops. What did I do? No! <laughs> I forgot to click back onto the program. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go back to the pencil... And we're going to go to the... Where is it? The snout. Um... Oh yeah, underneath. Where the mask is. So if we go back to that. Ooh. There we go. And then if we go back. Hey, it's getting he's getting a bit of definition. Okay. Uh, we'll use it on his ears as well. Uh, left ear. I go too far. Oops. I'm not ruining anything. There we go. All right, let's go over to the right. is going to be so strange. I'm not sure I like the creases though. I feel like I'm, I've made the creases incorrect. I think I'm going to go back and fix that. Hold on. I think the first thing I need to do though is I need to... Yeah, no. I need, let, me, let me fix the creases. I want to redo the creases. The creases don't look good. So I'm going to erase those and do it again. Okay. Let's try this crease thing again. Um, so I need, need to practice my Chris's game too. Yeah, it's not easy. Um, uh, I mean, and, and you're, and you're a more established, uh, <laughs> artist than I am. <laughs> All right. So I feel like we need to do it along here. Oh, but why is it? I just don't like the fact that it's being round. Uh, 
if I use a tapered pencil? I just need to make it a 15. Yes, they aren't easy for me. Yeah. Nah, I don't like that. Um, what about... Uh, I know what to do. Maybe if I use airbrush. Maybe airbrush will be easier. Shadow. Would airbrush come out better? Let's have a look. Maybe not that big. Let's go small. So it's like... And then... I'm trying, I'm looking at, like, I'm looking at my, my bear, and the mask is, it's literally just the main two crease is here and here, and then it's got a lot of little ones, but I'm not sure whether I can really, I don't know if I want to do the little, little ones. I feel like maybe just the, the two main creases is enough, like, there's, it's more of a fold than a crease, but... It's just the way it's been stitched. Um. Okay. Okay, I think we're good on the mask now. I mean, it's they're very basic. It's a very basic crease. I'm gonna keep it like that. That's probably all it needs. Okay, let's go back to the body. Yeah, I think just the main ones will do. Yeah, I think so too. Um, so I need to now go down to say the main. I think the main scrub. And do the shadow sort of underneath where the arms go, where the arms are. So if I go back to here, do the colored pencil thing. Um, now if we go like under here. Oh, too far. sure if I'm doing great with this but I'm gonna do the best I can all right and let's go oops here as well there we go is that good? I feel like I've done alright with that, with the shadow. Hey, that's actually not too bad. I'm quite impressed with myself. <laughs> hey, it kind of works. Alright. Okay. I like. I like it. Okay. <laughs> Now it's got to do it underneath the top pore as well now. And I think I'm good. Um, so in this instance, what I'll do is... I'm going to go pen... Uh, no, sorry, I need the eyedropper first so that I can get the darker color of that. Um, and then go pen. Now yeah, let's go... Down here. And go... Oh, wait, before I start drawing, <laughs> I need to pick the, the, the correct arm. 
That's the left arm is the one that I need to do it on, technically. What? Why isn't it working? Oh, there we go. Oh, whoops. I just realized. It's on the, it's on the paw. That's why. That's all right. I suppose I can do it on the paw itself. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, how far do I want to go? I just want to go here, right? Just around here. There we go. Yeah, I am liking it. <laughs> I like this whole shadowing thing. <laughs> and this shading thing. The shadow stuff looks really cute. <sighs> Alright, I think I need to do it at the bottom as well. Where the uh, where the body where the main body is. So let's just do that. Let's get the pen. It's the same thing. Whoops. Cross. Shadow is shadow is so fun. It makes things look alive. It really does. Like I'm very impressed with it. Oops, too far. Too far. There we go. I'm not sure about the shadowing on his snout, though. I think that's the one that really bothers me a little bit. But he's not bad. I think his body needs a bit of a... Uh... His his clo his scrubs need some uh, some shadowing <laughs> Oh, creases. Um, all right, so I'm gonna zoom in. We're gonna keep to the same part, the same layer. I'm pretty sure it's the same layer. Nope, I got the wrong layer now. I need the main body. All right, so we need to do this. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I want to redo that snout. The snout doesn't... I'm not happy with it. But if I erase it, I'm going to be erasing the color as well. I can refill it, I suppose. It's not, it's not, not a huge area to really worry about. Um, I just don't want to get rid of the outline. That's my only concern. And this is why you do shadows on a different layer. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to redraw the snout. Um... Bugger, hold on. I might have to... Where's the mask layer? Let me just get that disappeared. And then... Ah, the layer issues. I understand the pain. Because <laughs> I want to erase this. But I want to erase that. Um... 
let's go 35 because I know it's going to erase the, yeah, so he's going to erase the outline as well. And I can't be bothered being careful. It's not a huge deal, but still. I suppose when it's pixelated, it's actually a little bit easier to figure out where you're going. <laughs> hey, Richard, good morning! How are you? I hope you're doing well. And thank you for contributing to my little community challenge <laughs> of me. Wait, there's a challenge? Well, uh, yeah, well. <laughs> I only put it together after Saturday's stream, so... <laughs> you can contribute your foolish coins towards me getting Pokemon Snap and streaming it, so... Because I'm still a little bit undecided about it, and whether or not we can hit the goal, I will then buy Pokemon Snap and I'll stream it. <laughs> Nothing gets past me right when I join. Richard, every time he comes in, he'll check every little nook and cranny of the stream. Like, I'm gonna check the channel point to see if there's something new in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okie dokie. All right, we're going to do the thing proper now. How, actually, Richard, how's your stomach doing? Are you still feeling queasy from yesterday? <laughs> Last night, I should say. <laughs> how's, how's the, how's the tummy? After all those beans. <laughs> Hey, hello, Tracy. Good morning to you. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> this is so cute. Thank you. This is going to be one of the new emotes here. Just trying to figure out how to make it look good. <laughs> uh, pencil. And then we... Pick that one. No, no. Cancel. Let me pick that one. There we go. Alright, so we need to do the thing from here. The shadow. The shadow needs to be here. Alright, cool. Now we get the eraser tool. Just gonna make now I gotta be careful. Um ten. I don't want it bleeding over. Like that. And then over here. Alrighty. Much better. Although, I don't know, it's kind of dark, but... How's, how's that? Does Dr. Bear need anything else? Hmm. Hey, good morning, Pat. How are you, my French maple leaf? 
My French Canadian maple leaf. <laughs> Hmm. I feel like he still needs something. Marina! <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I'm calling upon you for quite a bit. <laughs> oh, it looks so good! <laughs> I slept in too much and missed your stream. Aw, oh, Pat, it's okay. You can go back and watch the VOD. <laughs> sleep is more important. I, I agree to more sleep. Sleep is more important. <laughs> hmm. Um... Hmm. What do they need? Unless you want to give him the scope, I don't think he needs anything else. Hmm. I don't think I've I'd add anything else. Okay. All right. Well, if that must be it then. This is cute. Pat, this is going to be our new emote or one of one of new emotes. I just don't know which one to replace it with. Ta-da! Let me see if that works. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little savey save on this, which I should have done ages ago because I haven't saved it in a while. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Don't crash on me! <laughs> I've done so much work to it already, and now it's like nope. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. Phew. We're safe. It's saved. Um, maybe replace blame antics emote. I don't know. That's so cool. I wish I knew how to make my own like you do. <laughs> but blame antics is so iconic. <laughs> I mean, I could... I could put blame antics into the bit emote section. And then have Dr. Bear as one of our regulars. Is that what you would all want to have? Would you like to have Dr. Bear as a tier 1 emote? Everyone needs to blame antiques. <laughs> Currently, our tier 1 emotes are the Toad Lurk, Hype, uh, the LOL, the Love, and the Blame Antics. And I've got three bit emotes, which is the 11 hour stream, the angel, and the cry. Hmm. Hold on a second. I'm going to... So we've saved him. Now I need to export him. Where's the export? Export... No, no, I don't want to export the single layer. I'm going to exp... Oh, okay, as a single layer. Um. Hmm. Ah, oh, I could do that. All right, cool. Let's export as a PSD. Doctor Bear. Um. Blah 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 blah. I think that should do it. Okay, and... Okay. So now... Um, if I go images... Um, original... Alright, let me... Alright, you guys are probably not going to see this because I've got it set on the the window capture on the on clip studio but i'm gonna open up i've opened up uh photoshop and what i'm literally gonna only do is just do a resize on it when it's uh with the 
with the emotes. So what is it? It's um it's 112, 56, and 28. So if we do that. Resize it down to 112. Export it as a PNG. Uh, over here. Dr. Bear 112 PX. Bring it back to its original size. Do the image size down to 56. Export that one because you have to for for the Twitch emotes have to export it three times. Um, one twelve fifty six and then twenty eight and then we might all have a new live emote ready to go. All right and. Export PNG. It's weird that Twitch just don't size it for you. They do, but you have to have it at a certain size. Um, like a, you have to have it at a certain large size, so that Twitch can then do the resizing for you. All right, I'm gonna close that now. No. Um. So I'm gonna go in here. Okie dokie. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do... Oh, excusez-moi. Uh, is it community? No. Viewer rewards. Emotes. That's what I want. Um, so if I was to say... Let's remove... Let's remove Blame Antics. For now, and we will. Yes. Yeah, so the or, there's an auto resize. There's an auto resize um, where the 12 has to be a maximum file size of a, of one megabyte, and the resolution needs to be between 112 pixels, which is the biggest emote size that they expect you to have if you're doing it separately manually. Um, up to 4,096 pixels squared, um, so that they can then resize it for you. Um, uh, but I'm not going to do that because I've done it manually. So, Dr. Bear 112. Where's 112? Dr. Bear 112. And then I'm just going to chuck in the other emotes. And I'm doing this live so that you guys can have a little play around with it and see if it works out well, if it looks all right. It doesn't look too bad at 112. I'm just worried at 28 pixels it's just going to be... It doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Hold on. I'm going to go Doc Bear. We're going to upload... Hopefully, hold on, maybe if you refresh the page, we refresh the page, and then, Dr. Bear, Dr. Bear is there, how's that? <laughs> have Dr. Bear emotes. Does it look alright? <laughs> Can you tell that he's there to give you a hug? <laughs> Looks amazing. Yay! <laughs> How's that? There you go. You have a new emote. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. It was definitely a big learning curve for me. Um, 
I'll probably end up fiddling around with them and making them look a little bit better, but at this point in time, this is the best you're going to get out of me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I actually, I actually don't mind that. That's actually really cute. I mean, you can tell that it's, you know, he's in his scrubs, he's got his mask on, he's got his hat and his, his top. That was so fun. Nice to see it progressing into an emote. Yay. Thank you so much for all your help, Marina. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I love it when you're here to give me some input. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're going to end the stream there. Dr. Bear is complete. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was so much fun. Look at Dr. Bear up on the screen as well. Nyaw. Yay, I love it. <laughs> Pat, you can now use Dr. Bear wherever you go. <laughs> Everybody who is subscribed can now use Dr. Bear wherever you go. I will... <laughs> Look at him. He's adorable. Uh, I will put the Blame Antics emote under the, t the bits, the, the bit emotes, uh, the bit reward emotes. Um... If, if someone gets to 25k bits, um, then we will unlock the 50k bit emote, I think. Um, but I'm not expecting you to all, all of a sudden turn around and be like, right. So no, the, so that's not 25. We need to unlock the 25k bit emote. At the moment, the ones that we've got unlocked is the 1k bit, 5k, and 10k and there's only two of you on the 5k and that's emily and i believe dallas um so <laughs> um so i really appreciate all of the support for especially all the bits that you guys that keep cheering for me um the yeah so what i'll do is i'll change over the 10k bit emote from the angel to blame antics and I know most of you are not going to like that, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, I mean, I could because I want to keep my hype. I want to keep my lol. My toad lurk is used a lot. So <laughs> yeah, anyway, doesn't matter. Um, Marina, thank you so much for contributing your foolish coins towards the community challenge of making me play Pokemon Snap. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> Blame Antics with 100 bits. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the thank you so much for the bits, name Emily. I love you. <laughs> um. We're, I'm going to be back tomorrow morning, my time, 10 a.m., which for you, for you, most, for most of you will be, uh, what is it, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Marina, I know by then you'll probably be heading to bed. <laughs> but um, thank you, everybody, so much for joining me on my, my, uh, my little stream of uh, drawing up. An emote live. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, I really enjoy learning different art styles and, you know, crafts and stuff like that. So I, I appreciate that. Emily, Emily, I should show you. I did a little crochet last night and I made, I made something that, um, that Dr. Bear can kind of hold on to. Um, and he's, he's kind of small. <laughs> I made a little teddy bear. He's like, he's so small. <laughs> he's a little teddy bear. He kind of looks like a rabbit though, I feel. I feel like I've made a rabbit with bear ears instead of bunny ears. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I got, I got a little, uh, I, I got a lit I wanted to make something tiny and this is this is what I made last night <laughs> he's so small 
He's a teeny tiny bear. Small bear! <laughs> compared, compared to him, that's how small he is. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you that. Um. <laughs> oh, and we apparently, at the start of the stream, we decided to call him Franklin. So it's Franklin the Tiny Teddy. <laughs> that would make a cute keychain. Yeah, I was actually thinking about maybe attaching him to a keychain, but I'm not sure that I want to get him dirty because he's pure white. So I, I feel like I want to keep him clean as much as possible. So um, Dr. Bear will look after him. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. Let's go and find somebody to raid. Let's see who's on right now. I really appreciate you all being here. So thank you so much. Um, let's have a look, see. We can go say, let's see, Julie Blueberry. Um, she's currently playing Animal Crossing. And she's doing a villager hunt for Lolly. So let's go say hi to Julie Bear Blueberry. She's from the UK. Um... Let's start the red. So please stick around if you can. Thank you all for joining me. I'll be back in the morning, which will be in the evening for most of you. Um, oh, my, my, I'm so disappointed that my bot is down. I can't even. Um, I suppose we'll just have to use whatever emotes you can just, you know, yeah, you know. <laughs> let's let's maybe you can also add in Dr. Bear. Could be a cute little <laughs> cute little spam of the emote. Um I hope you all have a good day, most of you that are starting your days. Marina, enjoy the rest of your day. Um and thank you for joining me. And we'll be continuing on with some Animal Crossing. We're going to continue working on my MASH theme island. Um, so hopefully I will see you then. Fuji Raid, thank you. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> thank you. Have a good night and day all. Yes, enjoy the rest of your days, everybody. And I will see you in the next stream. Bye, everyone.